Hey everybody, Charlie Nair 2 here and welcome back to Firewatch. We last left off, we uh, made it to the Firewatch Tower, Lookout Tower I guess it's called, and uh, we're on our first quote-unquote mission. Uh, there's somebody setting off fireworks and we're going to go tell them to stop. So we just opened a supply crate, just grabbed some rope out of there that they say that we're going to need for this. Let's check our compass. I know we're heading west, so we should probably keep heading this way. And yes, I keep hitting shift because I'm used to that being run in just about every game ever. And in this game, it pulls out your radio. Well, let's make sure we're still headed in the right direction. We... Oh, R. Hey, there we go. Maybe I shouldn't jog everywhere. I have to press it each time. Okay. I will use it if we are running from something. Will we be running from bears? Probably. They did hint that they'll. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. All right, I'm going to call it. Or at least right now, I think um, that lady's not real. I think we're dealing with trauma of Julia, and we're, like, manifesting it into this lady on the other end of the radio. Could be wrong. But also, I could be right. Oh, we hear the fireworks. It came from this direction. Probably should run here. Right? Like, this is an emergency situation. They're going to start the woods on fire. I don't know what is going on with the performance. I'm hoping you guys don't see it, but like these micro stutters are irritating to say the least. Shale slide, it's steep. Rope hook. Attach rope to hook. Alright, we're gonna rappel down. With one rope and no Swiss seat. Okay. You are a boss, man. Just sheer hand strength. No, no, no! Oh, and we fell. We do got a belt around us. Well, we fell. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. Broke the rope. Make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Christ's sake is one word? Are we supposed to go down here? I don't think so, right? West is over this way. No, no, no. I'm hitting the shift again. Um, it's not really anywhere to go there, so I'm guessing we'll head this direction. Report the meadow. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Okay. Beer cans. Red Eagle. Brood in Wyoming. I can't look at the bottom. Um, clean up. Hold E. Let's clean up all these. Uh oh. I don't know how we're just cleaning them up magically, but we're going to continue to do so. And continue, and continue to clean. It's like, I mean, it's the right thing to do. I don't see any more. You guys? No? Okay. Um, is that a bag? 
And a campsite. Okay, so somebody's been here recently. There's still smoke from that fireplace. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Stomp out campfire. Does that, does that work? Kind of. I don't, I don't think that's doing anything. All right. Pick oh, up their whiskey. Or Irish. Well, we can steal it. I don't think we should steal their alcohol. Probably don't need this in my life right now. We'll pick this up. We can clean that up. We will confiscate their fireworks. Hey, and it literally says confiscate. Alright, is there anything else? We see two backpacks. So it's just two people out here deciding to get drunk and launch fireworks. And go skinny dipping? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. As a, and we kept it? Put it back! What are you doing? Why did you pick it up, you weirdo? But don't... Don't touch those. We're not touching those. We're just going to leave those there. I'm hoping I don't have to blur this episode out as well. Two girls? Just down here launching fireworks and skinny dipping? That's a weird thing to do, but... Hey, you do you. So we can go to our lookout from that way. What is that guy doing over there? Is he skeezing? Hey, guy! Are you skeezing? Get Apparently. Uh, cool it with fireworks. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. With Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Um, took your fireworks. Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? No, oh, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Y'all don't have to hit me so close to the fields. I mean, I'm taking your radio. I'm taking it. It's mine. It comes hey, with us now. Okay? Actually, we should probably drop this. We're gonna get copyright claim. Drop. Oh, hold on, hold on. You there, Henry? Hold on, I'm gonna throw their radio in the lake. There we go. All right. Well, look, if you can hear me, try to get back soon, okay? Oh it's crap! Great. I missed the time limit to respond to her because I wanted to throw that in there. Here you go. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Um, the trail immediately splits. Do we go this way or this way? <laughs> well, hold on a second. Ah, oh, I keep hitting that to run. This, this way, six miles, this way. I'm going to follow the general direction of the log, which is this way. So if that's wrong, I'm sorry. I kind of lost the trail. Is this trail? Yeah. It's already late. Lost my tower. I I don't know which way to go. There's no like signs here. Do we go up here? 
Let's just hop up here and look. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Um, you got the job out of the I paper. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. I don't know if this is the way. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Uh, no, is that a real thing? But hey, I've I tried to answer. To this thing got in the way. Another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Okay, let's look at the note. Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. What was to say, though? Their budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos in Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Okay. Good to know, I guess. We'll keep that. Uh, copy the map information. So we do have a map. I should probably look at my map. Old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Can I pick it up or anything? No. Can't interact with it. The Fourth Estate by Richard Sturgeon. It's a cool cover. Fourth Estate, Richard Sturgeon. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class, something a trans-American thriller that puts Neil in the South City streets and slams him into a sordid web of politics and something finance and all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Fourth Estate is new territory for Sturgeon and is not to be missed. $2.50. Can we keep this? No? Can we grab this canned food or anything? No. All right, how do we get map? M? M is map. Zoom in. Uh, where are we? Oh. It does show our position on the map. Okay, so we are supposed to head up here. We have head back down. Okay, so we were to follow the river. Is that the way to go, though, to follow the river? That doesn't seem right, but that's what it told us to do. And I guess this little, like, green symbol here, that's where you connect a rope to. Uh, supply caches are written. There they are, cache 306. So I guess we're going to head to 303 and then to the cave, back to the lookout tower. Uh, should I have my position on the map? That was an option in the uh, settings, but that was... Uh, clicked is on by default. I could probably figure it out if we did turn it off, but since that's the default, I kind of feel like that's what we should be doing is just leaving it where it's at. Um, so we need to head back up. Does time pass in real time? That's it. not in real time, but does it pass in the game? Like, Is it going to get darker if I just stand here? So we should be right beside of, yeah, that. So we're going to come down here and hang a left onto the river trail and just kind of follow the river all the way up. I say river, the creek bed is more like it. Put that away. All right. Walking back. I definitely see uh, the people saying walking simulator, but clearly it's more than that. This, this seems like a tutorial kind of set the tone mission here as to things we may be doing. 
But yeah, how, how many of you guys are with me that have never played this before that believe that the uh, lady we're talking to is just like in our heads, maybe? That seems like a common trope that would be fitting for this situation, especially being all out here in Colorado alone. Wasn't the uh, Shining, didn't that take place in Colorado in a, like a hotel? You know, kind of a isolationist so insanity I thing. have a bit of a confession to make. Obviously with his wife and kids. What is what it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. It's very unprofessional, to be honest. Alright. Um, kind of boring coming back here. See if something happens. I don't know if we have a crouch. If I press C, we don't really crouch. Control doesn't do anything. R is run, which is weird. It's just a weird feeling doing that instead of uh, holding shift or toggling shift. Uh, there's a crack here. Can we fit through here? Is that a storm? This is going to flood if that's a storm. How do we... What's that... What's that I mean? Nearby storm. How do we do anything with that? Can we click it? No, that just zooms in if we do that. This is the last place you want to be when it's raining in the mountains or in the wilderness. <laughs> this water is going to rise. On the plus side, a little bit of rain will help keep the fire risk to a minimum. I'm not seeing any clouds, though. Oh, there's that cave. Okay, so we dip in through here. Okay, let's open this cache. One, two, three, and a four. No, not close it. I was trying to look at this. I guess we can't copy the map. It's a horn. We call it an antler. I don't know if there's a difference between antlers and horns. Flashlight. We'll need that for the cave. Ah. Ah. F for flashlight. Everybody, F and chat for flashlight. There's no chat. This is a YouTube video. All right. Not creepy at all. Just, you know, a random cave. It's probably got, you know, bears in it. Everything else. Caves closed. Looks locked, it says. Well, we'll definitely not ever be coming back to that, right? Guess we just climb up here. So I do have the brightness turned up so that you guys can see a little better on YouTube, but I definitely do not feel like I needed that flashlight for that section. Which is a good thing. I've been playing uh, Half-Life Alex. I got a MetaQuest 3 uh, for Christmas from my beautiful wife, and... I tell you what, that game. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon, and he was just being some guy. Wait, he's looking at you. Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, he just wanted to tell you in case he was like a murderer. Anyway, playing Half-Life Alex. Oh my god. 
I don't know if I can make it through that game. I'm bad with like games that are scary and creepy. Couldn't finish Alien Isolation. I don't think I'll be able to finish Half Life Alex. There's sections in there where it is pitch black and all you have is a flashlight and you're immersed because it's VR and it's it's crazy. Let me know in chat if you guys are interested in me recording some VR games, maybe some VR puzzle games or something like that. I would be willing to do so, but personally, I don't like to watch uh, someone play a VR game on YouTube because it, it tends to be moving around like this all the time, and it's just not a, as enjoyable of an experience, but that might not be the case for everybody. So you guys just let me know if you'd be interested in that content. Maybe I'll think about doing a... Uh, puzzle game or something like that something a little less intense uh, on it and try to do that I know all of the new remakes of uh, mist and everything like that are what is this oh I can climb the rocks here are designed for with VR in mind so maybe the uh, Riven remake let me know you want to see me play it in VR or you want to see me play it in good old regular 2d I'm just going to keep climbing. I feel like up is the way we want to go. To get back to our tower, it is like nighttime. Um, it's got to be up here, right? No, he's still not there. Over here. So that dude was like around here somewhere, right? Also, how long is this game? I figured this would be a shorter experience. Usually games of this type are, but... You know, like six hours, six, eight hours or so, but... Maybe even four, maybe it's four, but who knows. This certainly feels bigger than I thought with the paths. I thought it all kind of took place in the tower, but it seems to be in the park. Oh my god, dude. Falling off mountains. Destroying signs. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was... Backbreaking, but you know anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Okay. Well, we can see the tower right over here, right? Yeah. What is this? It's like a sign? Ah. Oh, that's an outhouse. Oh, that's great. Can we look at the sign? Somewhat. Looks like a dude just with a shovel. Forest burns. Oh, it's either Smokey the Bear. Is that what that is? Yeah, outhouse is not cool. Like, this alone calls me not to take this job. We throw the ball in the... Yes, perfect. And this is our generator. This is a very tiny generator. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yeah, it's like a generator. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... But my hair dryer. Hair dryer. Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. 3,000 watt, huh? Close that. All right, let's head on up. Maybe get some rest for tonight, and then maybe we can explore the tower. I mean, I guess we need to explore it now. I don't feel like time actually passes in this game. I think it may pass due to... Oh. Due to, like, story scripted events. But someone's been in my tower while I was gone and threw my typewriter out. And now music has started. Hello? Is anybody in here? 
place has been ransacked. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Don't say that. I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Is this a situation where we're the ones who did this, but we think it was someone else? Huh. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe that guy in the canyon? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Manly. Uh, okay, in the morning Not I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Well, just day two. Okay. I feel like there should be like some type of like dramatic orchestra orchestra stab like dun dun. Wake up. Uh yeah, I'm awake. Hey, I guess. Up. Pick up radio. I'm, I'm awake. awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I fix it? I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? You probably had to hike through a cave yesterday to get home. Uh, yeah, I did. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. All right, we're going to actually look at stuff in here before we leave this time. Singular mind. Dr. Jonas Allard. Don't mind your mind alone. Have you considered the untapped power of your own mind? Yes, this is alluding to this. This is A lot of this is going to be in his head, isn't it? Do you often ponder the unexplainable? Do you find yourself seeing that which is not there? Do you yearn to explore the labyrinth of your own psyche? Jonas Allard, PhD, renowned psychoanalyst and Rhodes Chair of Psychology at Loyola Marymount as... He ex oh, I guess we're going to join him. As he explores the power of the solitary mind. This something but accessible treatise in the power of isolated psyche unclogs the avenues of our day-to-day -day thoughts, helping us unlock the psychological potential buried deep within ourselves. The Seattle, Seattle Enterprise says, Readers will be enraptured by this powerful exploration of Dr. Allard's hypervigilant methods of neuroisolation. San Francisco Review of Books the quintessential roadmap of mental enlightenment. Dr. Allard is a wizard. Or is he an Allard? Can we put it back? Or do we just have to drop it? Put down. There we go. National Force Guidebook. We can't... Can't pick that one up. Can pick up the thermos, which we've done. We'll look at these other books later. They take a bit to read. I think grass cleaner we'll try to put back so that we can look at the old scottish oil soap for dark wood scratch cover awesome got us a pencil sharpener 
aid kit, some space puff. Oh, this isn't Coleman at all. This is Goldman. Goldman water jug. We got some dish soap. It's supposed to be some joy, right? 25% extra. Original suds cleans the dishes. Well, I mean, that's what you want dish soap to do. We got some... Not Clorox. We've got... Clortox bleach. Man, look how massive our hand is compared to this bleach bottle. What? A little fireworks. Are we going to use these later for something? Magic missile. Screaming wife? <laughs> is that what it says? Can't read the other one. Something steel. Let's put those back. All right. So, day two begins next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.